Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to introduce my doggies to you guys. Look, here they are. This one right here is Bella. This is Maya. And this little one right here is Nia. So Bella and Maya are the same age. We got them both in 2009 and they're gonna turn 11 this year. And Mia, we got her in 2010 and she's gonna turn, <laughs> she's gonna turn 10 this year. So Maya is a Chihuahua mix. We don't know what she's mixed with because I have a story. So Maya, my mom found her online. All three dogs, we got them online. We found them on a website called Puppy Find. So the guy that was going to sell us Maya had told us that Maya was a purebred Chihuahua and told us that she was an Applehead Chihuahua. But when we got her, she is actually a Chihuahua mix. She doesn't have an apple head. She's part Chihuahua, part we don't know what else she's mixed with. But she is one of the most friendliest dogs. Like she loves all people. She loves all animals. I feel like any person that meets our dogs, this is usually their favorite <laughs> because she's so friendly. She's so lovable. She loves everybody. So yeah, she she was a surprise for us. We were looking for a purebred Chihuahua, but we ended up getting Maya, but that's okay because Maya is the best. Right, Maya? Girl, Maya. Maya is nothing like a Chihuahua. The only thing that she has in common with a typical Chihuahua is that she likes to be on people's laps. Other than that, you know, Chihuahuas tend to be really skittish and afraid of other people, but she's super friendly. She loves meeting new people. She sees new people and she gets excited. So yeah, she's nothing like a typical Chihuahua. I don't know what she's mixed with, but she's definitely is more like that. And watch when you pet her here she gets easily <laughs> she gets easily itchy like <laughs> when you touch her neck <laughs> but she's she's really sweet like she loves everybody um another story is we went to the beach and any person that she would see she would run to the people and <laughs> she would sneak off she would straight up sneak off she would be sitting with us and she would see like a family laying on their blanket, enjoying the sun, enjoying the beach, and she would just run towards them and be like, Maya, come back, stop terrorizing people. Good girl, Maya. So this right here is Bella. Bella is a purebred Cocker Spaniel. Look how cute she is, oh, such a sweet girl. So Bella is, um, she loves all people too, like Maya. The only difference is that she is very skittish when it comes to other dogs. Other dogs scare her, especially dogs that are bigger than her. She's scared because she's used to living with two smaller dogs. She's used to being the biggest one of them. So she gets nervous when she meets bigger dogs. Um, also, there was an incident one time where we took Bella to the beach and there was somebody there that had a pit bull without a leash and um, my mom told them at one point, you know, your dog doesn't have a leash. And the guy's like, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know, my dog won't do anything. I leave him without his leash all the time. But at one point he started to attack Bella and Bella got really scared. And I would say in general, she's already skittish with big dogs, but I feel like this specific incident made her more afraid. So when we take her on walks, when there's other dogs, you know, we have to try to separate ourselves and keep her calm because she does get skittish. But when it comes to people, she loves, she loves people and she loves kids. She's very friendly too. Good girl, Bella. So Bella is actually the most calm one out of the dogs. She's the most calmest, patient one. Maya and Mia can be more high energy, but Bella's very calm, very sweet girl. Such a sweet girl, Miss Bella. Also, I made a mistake, sorry guys. Uh, Bella and Maya actually are already 11. I said earlier in my video, I misspoke. They're both 11. Bella's 11 years old. Maya's 11 years old. 
my chihuahua Mia that I'll be showing you guys her in a second and talking more about Mia. She is 10. Last but not least, we have Mia. Here's Mia right here. The reason why Mia's tongue <laughs> sticks out like that is because she has no more teeth. She's missing all her teeth now, which tends to happen, especially with chihuahuas. Um, they tend to lose their teeth in older age. So Mia is, like I mentioned before, 10 years old. So we got Bella and Maya, the Cocker Spaniel and the Chihuahua mix. We got them in 2009. And Mia right here, we got her in 2010. So now a little bit about Mia. So Mia, just like any typical Chihuahua, uh, when it comes to meeting new people, she can be very skittish. She gets really anxious, she gets really nervous. She doesn't bite, but she will run and hide, and she may growl and hide. And typically, when it comes to meeting new people, um, she needs to, you know, like watch him for a little bit, and then when she feels comfortable enough, she will come to you. And yeah, but when it comes to other dogs, she is friendly with other dogs. So when we first got Mia, you know, because Chihuahuas, it takes some time to trust people. She would, we got her a doggy bed and she was there in her bed as a puppy in the living room. And she would kind of stare at us, kind of unsure of like, who are these people? But that night uh, she was crying because um, she didn't want to be alone. You know, we had her in her bed and I was sleeping in my room and I heard her crying. So I went with her and I kept petting her while she was laying on her bed and then she fell asleep. And I would say ever since then is when she started to bond with me ever since that night because she saw that, oh, okay, you are trustworthy and you're not gonna eat me. <laughs> so, yeah. Good girl. Good look, girl. I wanted to show you guys how my dogs react when I ask them if they want a treat. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat, Bella? Do you want a treat? Do you want? And they won't leave me alone until I give them a treat. you want a treat? How excited they all are. I swear, like as soon as I say those words, they will not rest until they get those treats. After I give them their treats, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of the backyard because we got it all fixed up really pretty and I wanted to show you guys. got the cement done not too long ago. Doesn't that look really cool? And then we got two gazebos, which my mom and my dad did most of the work of building those and my dad put those lights up right there. We got this new table. It turned out really, 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 really nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to introduce you guys to my dogs and show you a little tour of the backyard. The backyard looks beautiful. My dogs are awesome. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching and supporting and liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. I will probably do the whipped coffee. I um, wanted to make that at one point. I'll probably make it next week. So I'll see you guys next week and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!